Well, frankly, we knew that Lee was serious about moving on and trust us, we respect that. We really do. We have no doubt that Lee and his family uh, prayed hard about this a decision and, and felt without a doubt that this was what the Lord wanted for them. But as leadership, we have a hard time picturing BCC without Lee. And so we prayed hard as well, and frankly, we are unwilling to let him go. As you can see, there was quite a problem. Lee knew it was time to move on. We knew he should stay. Was there a way that both could happen? Yes. Actually, there was. A friend of mine works for a leading biotech firm, and he told me about some exciting new technology that would solve our problem. All we needed was a DNA sample from Lee and $30 million. A trip to the wastebasket solved the first problem, and some creative fundraising solved the second. So, three weeks later, a UPS truck pulled up to the church, and, well, there they were, a piping hot, fresh out of the oven batch of Lee clones. It was weird at first, and I'd be lying if I didn't say that toying around with the laws of nature made all of us feel good. But knowing that Lee would always be with BCC made us all feel better until. We realized that these versions of Lee weren't as talented as the Lee we all knew. The sermons, frankly, lack the creativity and scriptural relevance that we've all come to appreciate. So we lessened their responsibility and tested the clones out as uh, youth leaders, a job we figured would be perfectly suited to their level of cognitive ability. This too met with disappointing results. We tried everything after that, hoping that we could use these guys in some capacity in the church. Lee Clone in the nursery, Lee Clone helping out around the office, Lee Clone on the worship team, Lee Clone taking the offering, Lee Clone parking cars. At this point, we really started to question the wisdom of this plan. Add to that, some of the clones just started disappearing. One of them wandered off into the woods. All we found was a shoe. We think a fox got to him. Another was sighted at the airport, riding around on the baggage carousel. Few of them made it to Hollywood, somehow, and were cast in their own sitcom. We eventually realized that we were just being selfish. God's timing is everything, and well, we just had to let Lee go. He and his family had an adventure to take, and our church had its own. It was a valuable life lesson to learn. Don't use the church's financial resources to create nightmarish, soulless abominations of God's creation. I just hope that other churches will learn from our mistakes. As for the clones, you've heard the expression, if you love something, let it go, right? Truthfully, we didn't love these guys as they were becoming quite annoying, chewing up the furniture and attacking people, but we let them go free. I don't know what ever became of them.